Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Swagman Trailhead Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2020 Hyundai Kona. So the rack that we're looking at today uh, can hold up to a total of two bikes, but if you need to carry more, there's a three bike version as well as a four bike version uh, also available. But with that said, the way this rack is going to work is super simple. I mean, it doesn't get much easier really. It's going to hold our bike down using four straps. So we'll have two straps here and two straps here. This one down here is actually used as an anti-sway. So that'll help limit that side to side movement. That way our bikes don't, you know, bang into each other as we're going down the road. With that said though, let's go ahead, pull our bike off and have a better look at the rack itself. So you're just gonna kind of pull down on those straps, swing them up and out of the way. Same thing for this one here. And what's nice is with the arms being pretty narrow, uh, it's gonna be real easy to slide your bike off as opposed to some of those other racks that have kind of those wide arms. You really have to wiggle and fight it. And that's not the case with this one here. So it comes off real easy. So the cradles here where our bike's frame is going to sit, uh, give us three different positions. So um, you're gonna be able to use it with a bunch of different bikes, whether you have you know, your grandpa's bike from the 80s like we had here today or a brand new bike, you know, it's gonna be able to sit in those cradles just fine. They are uh, made from kind of a soft rubber, if that makes sense, so I don't really uh, see it scratching up the paint or anything like that. And one thing I'm actually really impressed with is the straps. These things are very thick and they feel like they would hold up really well. A lot of times uh, the straps on these racks are kind of the weak link. You know, a lot of them are real thin and kind of just chintzy. That's not the case with these. With that said though, I think one of my concerns would be the anchors here where you put the strap around. It is somewhat flexible and it feels like it's almost, uh, almost made from rubber. So my only concern would be maybe that starting to crack or split over time, but kind of hard to say until you really get some use out of it. That's just kind of my honest thought though. Uh, with that being said, even though our straps are really tough, I do suggest kind of putting them back in place. That way they're not flopping around when we're going down the road. There is something that we need to think about, and that is when we have the rack on the back of our Kona, it is going to extend the overall length of it. Honestly, probably not a huge deal with these being relatively small cars anyway, but um, for those of you that might have a tight or small garage, um, this measurement could be useful. To find out exactly how far the rack's gonna sit behind our Hyundai, I'll measure from the hatch here to the very edge. Looks like it's gonna be right at about 29 inches. So not a whole lot of space. If it is taken up too much though, the arms can fold down when we're not using it. Really simple. Just gonna have a clip here, pop that off, pull out this pen. The arms will swing down. And then I do suggest putting that pin back. And now you can see it be saved a little bit of space here. So I'll take that same measurement. And in this position, it only looks like about 21 and a half inches. So with it like this, really can't see it giving you a whole lot of issues. Uh, if you do go to pull into a tight spot or a small garage. So one of the big questions that we get asked all the time in regards to hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still gonna have access to the back of your vehicle. So can you open up your hatch and get in when you have the rack on? And this one does fold down out of the waist and allows us to do that. If we move down here, we're gonna have a pen and clip and a T-handle knob. I found that if you loosen this up first, you don't have to take it completely out, just back it off a few turns. Makes it a little easier to pull out your pen and clip. And then we're able to fold this down and out of the way. And that'll allow us to open up our hatch and get anything we might need in and out of the back of our Kona. So moving on down here, the rack is going to work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter uh, receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Hyundai, but it also can work with the larger two inch by two inch trailer hitches. So gives you a couple of different options there. If uh, you have a couple of different vehicles in the household with different size hitches, you can 
uh, use the same rack and kind of bounce it around from vehicle to vehicle if that's what you decide to do. It's also going to come with what's called an anti-rattle bolt, which is this here. It replaces the traditional hitch pin and eliminates any slop or play in the connection point. So what that is going to do is keep the ride inside of your Hyundai nice and quiet and prevent the rack from kind of bouncing around as well. So to give an example, say if we're going down the road and some bumps, you can see that the rack is going to move with our Kona and not on its own. And that'll finish up our look at of the Swagman Trailhead Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2020 Hyundai Kona.